About a week ago, there was some major news in the emulation scene. And this was about the famous Nintendo Switch emulator Yuzu. If you followed the news, you already know what happened. Yuzu is fully taken down right now because Nintendo of America made a lawsuit and they basically took down Yuzu. They didn't go into a court case, but they settled on a fine of 2.4 million US dollars, which is a lot. I don't think the Patreon is going to cover all this, so this really sucks for the developers. I am not sure how this will be handled behind the scenes, and I don't think we are going to have that much information about it available. I'm not going to go into details about these claims, I'll just put the latest announcement from the user team on screen, and I don't want to dive any deeper into this since this is their announcement and this is all the information they have given on the subject. So I'll just keep it at there. One thing we just really noticed in the lawsuit was that it was also linked to the latest Zelda release, which was pirated quite a bit before launch even, and that really had an impact on the situation. So this did make some changes in the emulation scene. There are some developers which are a bit more scared now. So this is a major thing changing. There are some emulators I saw on the Google Play Store which were now either taken down or made freely available or open sourced. Some links about that in the description below. But that is just minor changes and nothing major has happened yet from my understanding. So what now for Switch emulation? First of all, I just want to recommend to try out Ryujinx. It is not a Switch emulator, the setup is fairly simple. It is a great emulator in general and they haven't announced that they are going to hold back on any development. I think they are just going to continue like they did and so far that has been working out great. So Ryujinx is another great step for Switch emulation and I think this is where we see most progress in the upcoming months or years. The performance might depend on your system or on the game compared to Yuzu, but overall I think it plays mostly the same games, maybe even more. I personally have used Ryujinx quite a bit and quite like it. Another one is a continuation of Yuzu. This is one project, but there might be multiple going on, but one is Soju. And this is basically taking the Yuzu source code and continue developing it and adding more protection against piracy. One of which I think they recently added support for firmware installation. So you now need to install a firmware in order to play the games. Don't 100% quote me on this, but I think that is an extra step they are taking to not also get sued. But I think this is very dangerous. I am not a lawyer, so I'm not giving this any legal advice. But in general, I think it is quite tricky to continue on a project which has already been sued and taken down and just take that source code and continue to build on top of it. I'm not sure if that is the wisest decision, but again, not a lawyer, that is totally up to them. And let's see what happens and see how well they hold out. Another thing to do is to get the latest Yuzu packages but you have to really, really watch out for this. There are some packages floating around for the latest user early access, mainline builds, or Android builds, but these can be fairly dangerous. This is because the user source code was available. The whole source code and the whole build process was online, so people could take the source code, integrate malware, keyloggers, crypto miners, whatever they want into it, package it up, call it user early access, and distribute it anywhere. So this is something which is fairly dangerous, so I would recommend to be very cautious if you want to continue using the latest build of Yuzu, unless if you already have it, of course. If you already downloaded it, you can continue using that. Um, again, not going to go into any legality here. It might not be fully 100% legal to continue doing it, to continue using Yuzu builds, but again, not too sure on that. So read on that yourself. So this was the latest bit of Switch emulation news and emulation news in general, since this has a way bigger impact than just Nintendo Switch emulation. And let's hope the emulation scene stays just a bit stable right now. I really hope so. And as you can see, I'm back making videos. I have some videos planned out and I have some more time to actually make and edit videos. So that's great. So I hope I can see you there. Cheers.